So earlier on, it was revealed that Bruno Fernandes by Fabrizio Romano will be signing a new contract with Manchester United. According to this man, he was saying that Bruno's contract... Let me actually read the, the thing so that you understand what is happening. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to another video. This is Football Connect. I'm your host, subscribe to The Connect. The best way so you support us here. This is the new, seg new segment where I'm just going to be covering everything that is happening on The Connect, as well as the transfers that are going in and out. I'm just going to give you a quick hint on all the things that has happened today. So... Exclusive Manchester United have reached an agreement with Bruno Fernandes to extend his contract. New deal, new deal will be unveiled on the 27th plus an option for a further one, and maybe until 28th June. Salary top level, all documents to be signed before the end of the summer. This is according to Fabrizio Ramon of what's happening. So, what do I think about this? I think this is a good idea. Bruno Fernandes has really been a servant to Manchester United and he has really proven himself as a player. And when you really think about it, I think he's going to offer so much to the team being one of the facilitators, the way that United are using him. He was playing as a first nine against Man City and I think he was really effective. And as well in the midfield, which is really good because this guy, by the way, he has really more assists than most of the players in the Premier League. The likes of Kevin De Bruyne that so many people... But Worship, you'll be surprised that actually career-wise, Bruno is more assisted than him because he's really good at setting up the balls and it seems like he's enjoying his time at United. Of course, there were rumors that he was about to leave to go to another club, but him actually signing a new deal and staying, that gives an assurance that he is excited over the new project that United are working on, in knows what they're doing and exactly what they're building. And it's exciting. United are able to keep one of their most important, precious, you know, Diamonds, as well as we are seeing them adding the likes of Matisse Delict, the likes of um, Nasri, the one who's coming from Germany as well. They are by looking for a midfielder, can be a DM to be working alongside Casemiro. They are letting out some of the dead wood. Aaron Wambasaka is moving to West Ham, and we are seeing Lenny Euro, even though he's injured, is there. There is a player who can help out to take it easy on Rasmus Hoyland, who's going to be playing as a false nine, as well as Ahmad Diallo is coming to of age, is showing something amazing for the club and Marcus Rashford and I do believe Sancho is if he's gonna be there as well as Ganacho there is a good team that is United are working on here but my question is this so how far can they go and how can they not get more injuries than what they already have that's the only thing that we can still ask about but they're building a good team really to be honest so talking about United of course Aaron Wambasaka will receive a payoff of around 55 million from United to leave the club that's according to Ben Jacobs and that's the thing that I think is going to happen to make him actually move away but there is a news that I want to talk about which came out earlier in the morning where we've been told that Everton will begin the season with the threat of another points deduction as the Premier League alleges that the club breaches its PSR rules by 6.5 million for 2022-2023. Remember that time when they were trying to organize with the United to sell breath wide so that they can be they can actually be safe over the things and the deal was never really materialized. It looks like they did not cross the line. They thought they did, but they did not, which is gonna force them to maybe be deducted points. And I just wonder how can they take that up, especially with the way. It looks like the Premier League this season, this season is going to be really, really demanding. I'm going to be curious to see how the situation is worked on like. But one thing I know, I don't think there's any ever fans who deserve what they're going through from their owners. I know that there's somebody who's interested in buying the club. At least let's just hope somebody who actually wants to see the best of the club can buy it and help it. Rather than them to befund themselves in terms of this situation. So it's interesting to see what happens. When I was talking of United, remember I said Matez Delete and the Nura Mazu, Nazu, Mazuri has already said they are goodbyes to Bayern Munich team. The Manchester United medical has been scheduled tomorrow. This is according to Platin Go, who's gonna be who is giving us the story and has kept it updated with so many people were there. So that's one of the things that is gonna be happening there as well. So we'll see what happens over that one. Pedro Nato has been announced as a Chelsea player today at Stamford Bridge. We did see him when he was watching his team drawing by one goal, one one against the team that they were playing as well as they've announced him. It's official. He's now a Chelsea player. It's exciting to see what he's going to be doing. He said one word to describe Chelsea's transfer business since Todd Ball. How do you even describe these guys? 
because I don't even know what the best words to say. So we will have to wait and see what happens. We were told earlier on that uh, Nicole, Nicole Williams is given a yes to Barcelona and it does make sense. But according to Fabrizio Ramon, he has not yet received official confirmation over that one. But we will see what happens over that deal. It could change any time, but let's keep an eye on that one. Um, uh, that one, Julian Alvarez is already at Atletico Madrid for the deal. So the situation that I was talking about right now between uh, Chelsea and the Sami deal cannot co cannot fail because if it fail, it will put this team in trouble. It will cause chaos in Atletico Madrid to sign the likes of Julian Alvarez and all the players that are coming. Virgil van Dijk confirmed that a new he has not yet been offered a new contract by Liverpool. Though that raises so many questions, as they told us that they will be working on this. It tells me that they were not working on it, or maybe they were waiting for the players to be back. But they don't want to disturb players' focus when the season begins. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. So we'll see how the things move on. Like Takifa, um Kobo, a potential move to Saudi Arabia. I've had an offer, but I'm not interested. What matters the most is me was... was I was lead to play against the best in the world. Is is one day soon I'll be distant far. Saudi come becomes the best league in the world for the sporting team. I will go. But for now, it's only financial attraction. I have to stay in an elite league. That's my dream. Not money. Otherwise, I'll be ready to go there if it is one of the best. So Kubo just confirmed that he's not interested in going to Saudi League. He wants to stay in the team. So it's going to be interesting to see how that one plays out like. But of course, these are some of the other transfers which has been happening. Chelsea have been moving the most. Gallagher is gone. So much has happened and we cannot wait to see what happens. Let me just read you a bit of what caused the semi, semi deal to collapse by the of Chelsea. I've actually made a video about it. You'll see this way here on the connect. So check it out. So he's saying that this by by the way by Jane Ben Jacobs. He said that Savas move. To, to Chelsea is currently of following late complication. An announcement on Conor Gallagher deal has been delayed to allow Sabi's deal transfer to be finalized, but Gallagher deal remains on as it stands and Alvarez has already traveled as planned. All part now urgently working on a solution. One of the options is Jao Felix returning to Chelsea as Fabrizio Ramon called it. Atleti needs outgoing to finance Alvarez, George Mendes is in London, has tra uh, having traveled for the Pedro Nato announcement. So it's amazing. Joe Mendes is about to get a deal for his player to Chelsea because it looks like that's the only deal that they can work on right now. Things are moving very, very fast. I'm curious to see how the situation will play on like, but that's what we're being told here. So we just pay attention to what happens here. But guys... These are all the things that are happening in terms of all the transfers and everything that is happening on the football world. Do me a favor, click the like button, subscribe to connect to the best way you support us here as a, as a channel. I'll be back again with another one. I will talk to you over anything that is happening, people. But for now, we, t we, we rest here. Let's hope that there's some good news come tomorrow. Yes, the Zuby Mendy deal, that's what I'm talking about, as well as the other deals that are happening in liverpool or other teams so thank you very much for watching i've been your host sam we'll see you on another one don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the connect the best way you can support us here at the connect we are out peace subscribe to the connect